Hey guys, so in this video I'll be showing you how to make a simple blend tree system to blend through your jump, movement, and whatever other animations you have on your character. And you can see it moves, it blends through the forwards, backwards, left and right walking as well as jumping, a simple placeholder jumping animation. I have this simple scene here with just the default, I have a floor, a, a light, a main camera, and then I have my player here which this is just what you would create with Blender after you followed a different tutorial. And I just have a simple rigid body capsule collider and sphere collider. I'll get into this stuff in a bit, but this is just the basic stuff. And then the character animator script, I'll show this um, later on once we get to that. And then here I have my actual player that I've dragged on and make sure that you, once you bring it from Blender to here, uh, make sure you, you select you select it and then you select Rig and Humanoid. And this is just gonna let us use the features to make it walk like a humanoid character. And then I have this prefab here where I've just, this is the prefab and this is just my player, whatever. And I've renamed it to player graphics. So on it, I have an animator and you can just press add component and add an animator. And for the controller, I came in here, press create and create an animator controller. So it creates this. And then you drag that into here. And for the avatar, um, once you've made this a humanoid, you should be able to scroll down here and see player four avatar. That's just what it, it's named for me. And you can drag this player avatar into here, player avatar. And that's all that we do there. So here you just have your armature and your renderer that just comes with the Blender project. And here there's all of this random stuff that we don't need to look at. So uh, now once you've created this blend tree, you should be able to double click it and open it up here in the animator. And if you don't have this window, you can go to window, animation, animator, and open it up. So once you've imported it from Blender like this thing, you should have all your animations that you made in Blender. Um, you, you can just search up like how to make a human player in Blender and you'll see a bunch of tutorials. But so here um, you right click here, create um, state, create state, and create from a new blend tree, and that's just going to create this. So now we can double click it, and this is where all the fun stuff starts. So I'll start off by making this two D simple directional, and the parameters will be x axis and y axis. And here the the motion list, uh, motion field, yeah. And I'm just going to add multiple of these. I need to add six for all of my animations. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's good. Okay, so uh, for the motions, let me just move over here. Okay, for the first motion, I'll select the, open this up, and I'll drag in my forwards motion and it should just create this thing here wait one sec let me just see something oh okay uh remove all of these we're gonna use uh <laughs> we're, we're not gonna use these uh we're gonna add a new blend tree so just add six blend trees i'm sorry about that um i'm, I'm quite rusty at this so we'll add six blend trees so the first well we'll have one for idle four for our forwards left right backwards and then one for jump you can add in um, your crouch animation the same way you add in the jump animation so I'll let you figure that out um, so the first one will be forwards the second one will be right let's see where it is then backwards all right so we have these added all together so now here you can see on this little graph here um, like when we input a certain number, like let's say negative x, negative one for the x and one for the y, 
it will play whatever is nearest and as you move that it will blend through them so we actually want this stuff to be uh, distributed differently so uh, just copy these to make like a kind of diamond shape around the center with these so one on the x and zero or zero on the x one on the y is forwards which is like up this is right this is back and this is left and this is just an easy way to visualize it pretty easily then for idle i'll just, I'll just have it right in the middle so it's just by default idling and then for jumped i know there's probably better ways to do this but i'll just set it 10 10 so it's like out of the way and if we just set the x and y to 10 it will just set it to the jumped this should work well so okay so i'll just show you the scripting now so i have this very simple movement script which i'll just show you quickly right now uh, i'm assuming you know how to create one of these it's really simple and if you want you can copy it uh, it's just like a first person controller kind of thing and i have this on the main player right here and I just dragged in the camera so I also have this character animator script and this is the the stuff where it controls what the animator does so we reference the animator and then out here place it on the player and then drag in the the object with the animator and then I also have this grounded and uh, RB velocity variables. So the grounded is just checked with a with a physics dot raycast, and the velocity is just checked with the rigid body's velocity. So then, if we're grounded, the speed percent, which is just the variable I made. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, out here on the animator, uh, after you've gone to the blend tree, uh, in the parameters. Uh, like here, there's the layers. You can see the base layer, which is the blend tree. If you head over to parameters, create an x-axis and a, a y-axis, or they should already be here. But if they're not, just make sure you create those. So then here, uh, if it's grounded, the speed percent is equal to, um, you can copy this complicated code, but it just uh, transforms it from x negative 1 to 1 and y negative 1 to 1 just depending on which way you're moving and the, that's for the x and this is for the y uh, and then as speed percent is 10 10 so if we're not on the ground it will play the floating like jumped animation and then it just sets the anima animator x axis to speed percent dot x and sets the y axis to speed percent dot y. So if you've copied all this code correctly, it's also going to be in the description. I'll leave a link to this project, like a Google Drive download if you need it. Um, you should be able to head back into Unity and press play. So here you can see with this code, I have this. Uh, it plays the forward animation, but it stops, and same with the left and right animation and the jumping animation and the idle animation. So we need to head back to our import from Blender or whatever you're using. And then go to the animation tab, then click on all the animations you're using and enable a loop time. So this should fix it for all of them. If you just enable this, it will loop through them over and over again while we're playing it. Press play on Unity again apply the changes that we've made and then you can see this syncs all the animations the left and right walking it all works perfectly you can walk diagonally and it syncs well you can jump and it works and when you stop moving it's playing this simple idle animation and you can look around like this so thank you for watching hopefully this helped you um i know this was requested by my only real subscriber so uh, hopefully this helped you out uh, if you want any other tutorials let me know leave a comment in the comment section below and i hope you have a great day thank you for watching